when you look in one direction, how do both eyes know how to look that way? Hmm? Hmm? Pretty interesting question. Well, it involves this pathway and cranial nerve three and cranial nerve six. And it can get really confusing and it actually gets a whole page in first aid, but there's really not a ton that you need to know about it. So I'm just gonna show you the pathway, tell you how it works, and then tell you that multiple sclerosis is the only thing that you need to know that can damage it. So here's the pathway, starts in the brain, as all things do. And where it starts is called the frontal eye field or the FEF or the FIF. And you have one on the right and one on the left. We're just gonna show one side. So the right FIF activates the left PPRF, which has a name, but I don't think it's relevant and it's long and I don't wanna say it. So PPRF it is. And this activates the abducens nuclei or cranial nerve six to tell it to look whatever direction you need to look. And that activates the MLF or the medial longitudinal fasciculus, which crosses to the other side of the brainstem and then activates cranial nerve three on the opposite side, which lets the eye turn to the same direction this cranial nerve six is pulling the other eye. So because of that, cranial nerve six is pulling one eye laterally and the opposite cranial nerve three is pulling the other eye medially so you can look in the same direction. And if you damage any part of this, then you're gonna get some kind of nystagmus because you can't look in the same direction. So the other eye is gonna be trying to figure out where to go. And you really only see this with multiple sclerosis. I mean, of course there's other things that cause it, but for step one, that's really all you're gonna need to know. And in first aid, there's a lot more information about how to localize exactly where in this pathway a lesion might be, but I have never seen a question like that. The only things that I've ever seen is it's gonna be some kind of nystagmus. It's gonna ask like, maybe what could cause it? What do you think's going on? And then it's gonna be a process of elimination thing where you just gotta rule out an aneurysm. You gotta rule out some kind of long-term diabetes rule out anything else they can give you this and then when everything else is crossed off then you pick this answer i've never seen them directly ask a question about internuclear ophthalmoplegia or the mlf or whatever so i'm not really sure how high yield these things would be to go into especially now that step one is going past fail i think your time might be better spent learning details about other things